How to stop students from joining or rejoining a Google Meet. If you're a teacher using Google Meet in your Google Classroom, you may want to limit the ability for your students to join a Google Meet prior to you joining or after you've left the Google Meet. In order to do this, you'll need to create a nickname for your meeting in Google Meet. To create a nickname, either create a new meeting from your Google Classroom or the Google Meet homepage. Then select to join or start a meeting. Here you can enter a meeting code or a nickname. Students will then enter that nickname in order to join the Google Meet. You want to make sure that this nickname is very unique because if you have multiple Google Meets with the same nickname, anyone joining the meeting with that nickname will all end up in the same meeting room. If you're a teacher, we suggest using your name and then possibly a section code or period code for the students in that group specifically. So we can do Techoist session one. Once you have your nickname entered, you can select continue. It's important to note though, as soon as you click continue, students can begin joining the meeting. So be sure to share the nickname code with your students when appropriate. Even though you haven't joined the meeting, the Google Meet has been started and students can begin to join using the nickname provided to them. To then join your meeting, select Join Now. You can then begin using all the features that Google Meet has for your meeting. Once you're ready to end your meeting, you want to make sure that all of your students have left the meeting first before you leave so that the Google Meet can't continue on without you. You can either wait for students to leave, or if you want the process to go a little faster, you can select the user icon in the top right corner of the screen to show all of your participants. On the right hand side of a user, you can select the drop down and then click the delete button to remove them from the meeting. Then click remove. Now that everybody has left the meeting, you can also leave the meeting. And if students were to go back and try to join the meeting after everybody has left, they won't be able to because the meeting will be closed. You can continue to use the nickname that you've created for your Google Meet, and students will only be able to join as long as you are also in the meeting. And that's how to stop students from joining or rejoining a Google Meet without you. If this video helped you, let us know by liking it or commenting below. And don't forget to subscribe for more how-to instructional videos.